As we arrived, the wind gusts here early this morning, 20 to 25 miles an hour, but strong enough to put firefighters here with District 4 in defense mode as they tried to protect surrounding structures. Our main con our concern is making sure no other buildings nearby catch on fire. Captain Vincent Spizzali says when his firefighters first got here, the roof of the home was completely engulfed in flames. When you've got winds like that in a house and it's a wind-driven fire, it's really difficult. You need lots of gallons per minute of water, and we were really pushing our water system here. Adding to the problems, the fire hydrant and water system here in Chatteroy is in the process of being updated. Not totally completed yet, unfortunately. And again, with, when we have four or five water tenders of 3,000 gallons each. The home is a complete loss. The couple living here made it out okay. District 4 officials say they planned early for a busy day. And we had several meetings yesterday with all of our command staff. We've got extra staff coming in in the morning, and we've got plans in place that if things happen, we have contingency plans and extra equipment ready to attack it. Resources have been staged throughout North Spokane County, bracing for another round of wild weather. Reporting in Chatteroy, Casey Lund, KXLY 4 News.